All right, guys. Well, for the few subscribers that I do have, you probably see my little teaser video on a quick look at Pieta's 1851 Colt Navy, the Yankee Sheriff's model. The way you can tell a Yankee version is you got a hardened steel frame as opposed to brass, and the reason why the Confederate had the brass was because they didn't have enough uh, steel to use. A uh, little short, just under five inch barrel, ontagonal. You got your loading rod underneath, all right. Got the engraved cylinder on here of a bat naval battle scene. Brass uh, trigger frame and back strap and oiled uh, walnut grips. I believe they're walnut. All right, I got five shots. I'm having the uh, hammer resting on an empty chamber. We have 25 grains of pyrodex. We have a felt wad between the powder and the ball. We got a round ball that are Hornady, 454 diameter. We have Remington. Uh, non-corrosive extra hot caps to ensure that we get a good ignition then we have bore butter on top i have the bore butter on to ensure that we don't get any uh, uh chain fires and another reason that could cause chain fires is loose fitting caps but these are number 10 caps and they fit nicely so let's try this out first time of me ever shooting this fire in a hole All right. Well, as you can see, we had good ignition. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, put the gun on my holster here. I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod, bear with me for a second. And as you can see, there's a bunch of smoke over there. Let's go down range. I see one hit the top edge of the paper, so I started aiming for the bottom of the target. And then I got this. I can live with that, guys. We got one up here, one up here. These are the high ones, and I aim low, and I got these two. There's five shots. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That was the Yankee Sheriff's model from Pieta. I love an 1851 Navy Colt. By the way, this is 44 cal.